Cover over. And a lovely tackle. Look at that for a tackle. Now he's on the transition. We are looking at the team of the week, 86 rated Goretzka. You can see here, six foot two, high medium, three star, four star. He actually is mostly lengthy, right footed. We've got him at lengthy at the moment. Play CDM or centre mid. Now, he is an unbelievably rounded card. His shooting would be even higher if his penalty is 1 or 61, but he's got really good composure, fantastic passing, good shot power, good finishing, good acceleration and sprint speed, great stamina strength, good defensive stats as well. Maybe the defensive awareness isn't amazing, but we'll see if that's a problem today. Only thing I don't like is agility and balance. But in terms of play styles, we've got power shot, intercept, bruiser, and aerial. Now, we have gone for an anchor opposed to a shadow. I know a lot of people would want to use a shadow, but hear me out. So with an anchor, he becomes lengthy, which I think is the best one to have, especially for a box-to-box -box midfielder who's going to be doing a lot of the legwork. And you can see here, it gets him to 84 pace, 87 defending, and 92 physical. Now, of course, you could go for a shadow, and it's going to boost him up to 88 pace and 88 defending. But we're only losing what's that four on slide tackle and then four on interceptions and then the rest is what it is plus four on pace you're not going to notice it with lengthy lengthy means they get quicker and quicker the longer they run on top of that he stays at 86 rated but an 87 cdm whereas with a shadow he probably gets boosted as i say mate seven eight six so there's no way to make him better in terms of in-game stats like that I am interested to see how he does in our 4-2-3-1 role. He's going to be playing as one of our box-to-box -box midfielders in a defensive role. And I'll show you what that looks like when we jump into some gameplay right now. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to IGDM.com. Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code Nanic at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So here's our opponent's team. Like I said, Gretz is going to be playing in our 4-2-3-1 system. He's going to be the secondary CDM. And his main job is to win the tackle, stop their attack and then transition and be our main pinpoint or pivot to basically drive forward essentially. You can see he's just here on the pitch now, the red triangle. And that's where he's going to be sitting for most of the time. Just trying to shut out all the attack if we can and see how we get on. Goretzka here, just shutting that area down. Good defense from the midfield. Goretzka just shutting that space down. He's got nowhere to go. That's fine with me. He feels very quick on the left stick, determined not, not dribbling on the ball and movement. And quiet. So let's see Goretzka's pace. You can see there the lengthy kicking in and he's catching up there with Balde. 91 pace, by the way. Cover over. And a lovely tackle. Look at that for a tackle. Now he's on the transition. Try to get past Van Dyke. Couldn't quite. And I see his recovery speed. But that's the role he's going to be playing in for us. You can see they're winning that ball back. And basically transitioning into the attack. Let's get him on the ball now. See how he feels. So when we get him on the ball, drill it at the top. It's a bad pass. Gretz is going to have to come back and recover. Sticking with Griezmann. They're using that strength. A lovely tackle. Now we got him on the ball finally. Does feel a little bit clunky. You can see that he's got a very strange body build. But in terms of strength, because he's got the bruiser play start, means he can push people off the ball like you just saw. Oh, we got him through here. Driving forward in the pivot. Oh, a bit slow in the dribble. No problem. Again, lost the ball. And you can see he instantly recovers into attack and stops the opponent attacking as well. Sorry, I mean. I'm caught out here. Good interception. Counter attack. Back to Goretz to get the extra attack going. Now we can use that lengthy nose. We can see here driving through. Good power run. Terrible pass from Volo. We do intercept. Goretzka here. Driving past two. Nearly found that pass through. Oh, Goretzka nearly intercepts. And make him run a bad run. See, what one thing I'm noticing, that's a terrible pass from me. We're going to concede from it. Great save. And, of course, lucky goal. One thing I'm noticing with Goretzka, though, is his ability to basically move off the ball. And the way he's sort of shepherding the uh, midfield and making our opponent move out the way is exactly the reason why we've got him in this role. See here, good link up. Out wide to Dembele. We're going to have a look at set pieces now to see whether he can take any corners, free kicks or penalties. I have no idea if he can. So unfortunately, Kant is very, very poor in all aspects of that. Not a problem, so he won't be taking any set pieces with him. Gretz has been dragged out. He's got to recover over. Good recovery and we force that pass. He doesn't want to go anywhere near Goretzka at all. See, he's just sitting back, passing around. Right, interception. Goretzka on the ball. Great through ball out to Son. We've got the counter-attack here. Good link up. Find Goretzka. Couldn't quite find Kevin De Bruyne there. It's a shame. 
gets done by the skill as well, unfortunately. 1-0 just before half-time. We actually scored a pretty decent goal that time. All right, Goretzka trying to catch up with Rashford. The guy's getting a bit excited on the skill moves. He's not really going anywhere with it. And that is half-time. So, so far, so good with Goretzka. A couple of things I'm noticing with our opponent. He is kind of, like, shying away from him, trying to avoid him. He is very, very strong. Like, the only thing I'm not enjoying is his passing. Not because it's terrible. I will sort of explain that a little bit later. But what I've noticed with his passing is he's a little bit lacking with the through balls. And that's down to not having a play style for it. But you can see here, Goretzka's playing as a CDM role. As our main CDM who drives forward with the ball and gives us the extra pass when we need it. But in terms of left stick dribbling, a little bit inconsistent. But that's just down to his body type. But apart from that, he's very, very good. We'd like to get a few shots off of him if we can. As we use that RB dribbling to get the space. Back to Goretzka. Getting away from the tackle. Lovely space in. Still just trying to work it at the moment. Oh, I couldn't quite cut back. Now you can see there is recovery. He's already back in defense, ready to go. Goretzka recovering. Not a problem here. So two-man press. Stopping from going byline. Gretz is coming over. Uses that strength. <laughs> Actually gets knocked to the floor. What have I just seen there? That was weird. And our opponent has run it off the pitch. Again, good defending. My space from Goretzka shutting down any sort of play inside the box. No cutbacks. Goretzka picks up the loose ball. Drives between two. Now he's going all the way. It's a bit of a... Not the most hidden pass. And that's what I mean with his passing there. Should do a little bit better. Goretzka. A bit slow in the pass there. Needs to be a bit quicker. Red Dembele clean through. Can he make up for it? We'll see. Great interception. Now we can drive forward with him. And we're just going to absolutely blitz people because of the lengthy. Good pass in. Goretzka running back down. We find him. We can. Go on all the way here. Oh, it's a bit slow on the dribble. That's what I mean with his left stick dribble in there. A little bit lackluster when it comes to when you need him. Reset the attack. Malassia in to Goretzka. Holding off two. Good pass in. But we do get caught out. Now we need him to catch up. Again, great interception. Stop that counter attack. Now we've got ourselves our own counter attack. Nowhere to go. Goretzka picks it out. Now we can drive. Finds Kevin De Bruyne. It's a poor pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Deception. Goretzka trying to use that strength to get away. You see there? That's what I mean with the left stick dribble. How slow was that then? Right, Goretzka on the ball. This is where he strives. Just running to full speed and then playing the pass off. Great pass in. Can't return the favor, can we? No, we can't. That's where he strives. Now, if you want to do intricate left stick dribbling with him, he's just not that type of player, unfortunately. Should find Vola. And we get ourselves the assist there. And looks like a rage quit at the same time. Now, I like Goretzka. I don't think he's quite up there for me personally as one of the better CDMs. He does the defensive jobs really well, but I like players that can turn and run out of the space. And he seems to be lacking in that just a little bit slightly with his body type. And his agility and balance, which I was worried about at the start looking at his statistics. But that being said, let's go jump onto Footbin now. So he's about 233,000 coins. Don't get me wrong, he is a fantastic player and he's going to be one of the best CDMs, especially in the Bundesliga and German. That's not a special card, for example, like an icon or anything like that. But I do find that this agility and balance, even though it's not crazy low, because he's six foot two, 189 centimeters, but more importantly, because he has his unique body type, he does turn very slowly. Especially on the left stick. So you are a type of person that likes to use left stick dribbling, like me, for example. You may struggle with the card. And that's what I struggle with the most. In terms of defensiveness, fantastic. He can body everybody off the ball, push them off, no problem. He wins the tackles. I find this long pass a little bit of a lie. Yes, it's 85. He's great at through balls. But because he's got no passing play styles, the game punishes him for it. And it is very frustrating because of that. But again, I still think Anchor is the best choice. If you have a Shadow, be all means stick them on and let me know if you prefer Anchor or Shadow. I just prefer my players to be lengthy and not mostly lengthy. But at the same time, good card. It's going to be in your team for a very, very long time, especially if you've got a good Bundesliga team going on. As always, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.